What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be filming this video right now. As you can see by the title, this is a puppy haul. I'm so excited. We are actually going to be picking up our puppy tomorrow. So by the time you see this video, we will already have her. We've actually been waiting for this for just under a year. And it's been such a long time coming and I can't even believe that I actually get to sit here and make this video showing you all of the things that I have purchased for her. I've tried to be so prepared the number of videos I've watched is insane. The amount of research I've done is insane. And I've had puppies before, but this is my first puppy like with Kyler. And I feel like this is my first experience doing this as like a true adult. And so I'm just so excited. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you guys everything I got for our dog. So I hope this video is helpful for you guys and let's just go ahead and get right into it. So first things first, I did pick up a blanket and just a soft cozy blanket so that she can feel comforted in her crate or in her playpen, whatever. I did actually nap with this cause I read that it's important to get my scent on some of her things so that she can Feel a little bit more comfortable in that transition when we pick her up so i did take a nap with it it is super cozy i hope she likes it next i have this big box of things in front of me so we're just gonna dive into this first thing is this is just a pet mat for her food and water bowl i picked this up at target it's a perfect size it's not too big not too small i thought that was really nice neutral colors Next, I have this Burt's Bees 2-in-1 Tearless Shampoo and Conditioner. I did do a lot of research on um, what are the best shampoo and conditioners for dogs, and the Burt's Bees just always seem to pop up in like the top three on all of the lists, so I decided to go with this one. It's 2-in-1, which I thought was nice because I'm not quite sure if she's going to like baths right off the bat, so I didn't want to have to juggle shampoo and then conditioner, so I just went the two-in-one route. You can do whatever you feel is best. Next, because she is a puppy and accidents are bound to happen, and that is A-OK, -okay, but we do live in an apartment. We do have carpet everywhere, so I gotta make sure I have a stain remover on hand. This is the Nature's Miracle Advanced Stain and Odor Eliminator. I've actually used this um, with our family dogs, like since I can remember our dogs have always we've just always used this brand and it's always worked really well so I just decided to stick with that next up I have her harness now she is gonna be really teeny tiny so I'm not a hundred percent sure if this will fit her or not but I just wanted to get one just to have one on hand this is um, the Boots and Barkley brand from Target it's an extra small and it's this really pretty like green color so I thought that was really nice next I have some poop bags obviously you have to have some poop bags these ones I picked up from home goods actually and they are orange scented which I think is gonna be super helpful to kind of mask the icky smell and they actually really do smell like oranges so I'm really excited to use these this came with like 120 bags eight rolls for five dollars so you can't beat it I think TJ Maxx and home goods I actually got a lot of her stuff from there super affordable great quality stuff so highly recommend checking out those places next I ordered off of uh, I believe I got these off of Petco just a small pack of gentle wipes they're baby powder scented just in case she were to get kind of dirty it's just something good to throw in your bag so if their paws get dirty or if you know sometimes they have accidents and then you can just wipe them off real quick and you don't need to give them a full bath if you're not in a place to be able to give them a full bath next i got this really cute little travel collapsible bowl um i think this is going to be perfect for when we go pick her up considering we won't have her actual food and water bowl and if you ever take your dog on a hike take him to the beach just take him somewhere where you know you're going to be gone for a while it's always important to have just a bag of their food and some water and this just makes it really easy to be able to give to them when you're out and on the go i got this from tj Maxx. next i have her food and water bowl so i did end up picking up this 
fun feeder slow bowl. The slow feed bowls are actually like really, really helpful for your dogs. One, it allows them not to eat so fast, so it helps with their digestion. It's also a brain game. So because it's harder, they have to really think about what they're doing to be getting the food, which I think is so smart, so helpful. And it also says, oh, it has a non-slip base, so it's not gonna slip all over your floor, which is great. And this one in particular holds about three quarter cups. So I did go with the small one. I'm sure I can get a bigger one if she bypasses this. But I did pick up just this small one. I got this from Home Goods. It was $4. You really cannot beat that. And then for her water, I just picked up this cute little white ceramic water bowl that says water. <laughs> Next up, I have her treats. I went with the Zooks Mini Naturals again when I was doing my research and I researched treats, the Zooks Mini Naturals came up in like the top two of all of the lists that I was looking at, so I decided to go with these. Um, I hope she likes them. I did go with the chicken recipe, so we shall see. The next thing I got is definitely not a necessity by any means, but um, I just thought it was so cute. So it's basically this tiny little backpack it has a pouch right here for your poop bags and they, uh, the little bags can go through this little hole right here. And then it just has this nice zipper compartment so that if you want to put a little bag of her treats, of her food, or anything else in there, you can. And then that can just be her little backpack, if you will. And that can just go with us on our adventure. So again, not a necessity, just fun. And I did get this from Petco and it's by the brand United by Blue. They have a lot of really cute things. Next we have her supplement. So our breeder actually gave us a link of the food that she is currently eating and the supplements that she's currently taking. So of course I wanted to continue her on those things because she's already used to them. So I did just buy the supplements. So it's just the NuVet Plus K9. Um, these are the chewable wafers that I'll just put on her meal um, once a day. Next we have some puppy pads. Of course, she's a puppy. She's gonna have accidents. So this is a nice big pack of them. I got 50 pads for $10 from Home Goods. So always good to have on hand. We did end up getting a grass patch for our um, patio by from the company Fresh Patch. And so that's how I'm planning on potty training her. But again, if we're gonna be gone for a little bit longer, I wanna make sure that she has a puppy pad in her playpen or in her crate, just in case she were to have an accident. Next, we have her travel crate. This we got from Home Goods, and this is what we're gonna have for her when we pick her up. Um, just kind of give her her own little space in the car. I'm sure I wanna be holding her the entire time, but in case um, I don't wanna hold her the whole time, I just want her to feel like she has a nice, comfortable, safe space to go. I'll put her blanket in here and a toy um, just to make her feel super comfortable. Also, it is um, airplane compliant, the size, so that's really nice if we do ever travel with her. I know that I am this size I can bring with me on the plane, so that's really nice. Next, I just picked up two super soft, cozy towels. I wanted to be able to have something that I could wash, and I plan on keeping these with her in her crate as kind of like her base in her crate, and then she can have her blanket, obviously. But just in case she were to have any accidents, I know towels are super easy to clean. So I picked up two of those. Next, we have her bed. I tell you, it was so fun shopping for all this dog stuff. I mean, a lot of the things you can't be too picky, but when it comes to dog beds, there's a million and one different options. So it was actually really difficult. And um, I got this one from Home Goods, and Home Goods and TJ Maxx have like incredible dog bed selections. Like they have an entire aisle dedicated to dog beds. So I highly recommend checking them out. But I picked up this little one. It's just a neutral tone, like taupey color with paw prints on it. Super cute, super affordable. This was $17. Um, so that's her dog bed, I'm so excited. Next up in this big box, it's already set up, so I just have the box, but we did get her a crate. This is the 24 inch folding crate. It looks like this. 
just your standard crate. We do plan on crate training her. So that is the crate that we went with. I picked the size that I think would be best. It did also come with a divider. So if it is too big, I can put the divider in and only give her the ability to use half of it so that she doesn't feel like she can use the restroom and sleep in the same space. I know that is not good for puppies. They don't, you don't wanna train them to go to the restroom where they sleep, that's really bad. And also they don't like to do that. So you wanna just make sure they have enough space to simply sleep and that's it. So I got the size that I thought would be best. Obviously we'll see once we have her, if it's too big or too small, depending on how big she gets. The next thing I have is this portable playpen. My mom actually had two of these and she let me borrow one and we're gonna keep one at her house. So when our puppy goes over to her house, she'll have a place to play. This one's really nice, it's collapsible, so it's super easy to travel with. It looks like this. It's really nice. I don't exactly know where she got this one specifically, but I've seen these all over Amazon. Also, we got our crate from Petco. Next up, I have her collar and her leash. Again, I just went with this um, Boots and Barkley Extra Small Dog Collar, and it's in this really pretty like green shade. Clearly, I like green. <laughs> and then we went with the collar that matches it. Just this skinny little collar. And then for our um, poop bag dispenser, I actually found this on Amazon, and I'm really excited about it because whenever Kyler and I babysit our family's dogs, we live in an apartment complex, so it's not like a backyard where if your dog uses the restroom, you can leave it until the morning, until you have light to be able to pick it up. You have to pick it up, obviously, that's courteous. So we always are like juggling, holding the dog, using, getting the bag out, grabbing our phones to use the flashlight so we can see like where it is that we're picking something up. And this was actually really cool because it has a flashlight on it as well as your potty bags. So it's like a two in one and I just thought that was super convenient actually. Like I'm very excited to use that. All right, now I think we can move on to the fun stuff. I mean, keep in mind, all of this is fun to me, but I know that toys typically for the puppy are the fun stuff. So I have this gigantic basket here. Clearly we went a little overboard and I won't be giving her all of these toys all at once. And some of them might be way too big for her <laughs> when we get her. That's okay, I'll just save them until she's a little bit bigger. So first off, we have just these small little chew toys. And when I say these are small, they're tiny. Like, that's my hand. They are tiny. But I know she'll be small, and I know she'll want to chew on something. So these are um, just these tiny little chew toys. They say they improve dental health. And I got these from Home Goods for $4. Also, Home Goods and TJ Maxx have fantastic dog toys. Fantastic. Next up, we have this Bark Box toy. This is from Target, and I just couldn't resist it. It's so cute. It's this adorable little dragon with the little, like, crinkle noise, and it has a squeaker in it. I think it has a squeaker in it. Yeah, it says squeeze me. There we go. So, super cute. This next toy is actually from my sister. She wanted to get her little puppy niece a toy and it's so cute because my sister loves wine. She's like a wine connoisseur. So it's really cute because she got her these little wine bottles. They say rough day, Chardonnay, Rosé all day. Everything happens for a Riesling and they're so cute and little. <laughs> I think we got these at Home Goods. Next up, I got her this Kong Wubba toy, I think that's what it's called. It's for puppies. It's super soft and squishy up here. Like it's it's really durable feeling. Like this material is very durable. It will be really good if she ends up being an aggressive chewer. I think this material will hold up really well. So I got this from Target. I also picked up some tiny little tennis balls. These were from Target as well. You know, we can see if she likes them. I know some dogs aren't like the biggest fan of tennis balls. We'll find out if she is or not. Next, I have this puppy starter pack. They are Nyla Bones. They come with like a one that you should start with, then graduate to, and a fully edible one, just to kind of help with their teething and soothing of um, their gums and everything like that. So, little Nyla Bone pack. My mom picked this one out for her, which I think is super cute. It has a squeaker in it. 
somewhere. There you go. <laughs> so it's a cute little like moose. I love it. I think it's adorable. Next, I picked out this little elephant. I couldn't resist. It's so cute. It's so cute. It has the crinkly ears, and there's a squeaker in here as well. This was four dollars from Home Goods. It's super soft. It's probably realistically gonna be like as big as her, if not bigger, when we get her. So she might just use this to cuddle with. <laughs> And last but not least, I'm actually probably the most excited about this. This is the Snuggle Puppy. And when it comes to crate training, I've done so much research on how to make this a seamless transition, how to make it easier on your puppy, because obviously it's gonna be hard. There's a really good chance they've never been in a crate before. There's a good chance that they're just gonna absolutely hate it. So I really just wanted to do whatever I could to make it as easy on her as possible. So with all my research, I found that the Snuggle Puppy was like the number one thing that people recommended for crate training a dog. It actually is just this little stuffed animal that is so cute. They have all different colors that you can choose. I got mine off of Amazon. I've seen them at Petco. I'm sure a lot of pet stores have them, but I did get mine off of Amazon. And then actually on the inside, there's this little Velcro spot right here. And when you open it up, there's this little heart. And when you turn it on, it actually, I don't think you'll be able to hear it, but it looks like this. And it actually has a heartbeat to it. So the idea is that it allows your dog just to be comforted with the idea that they feel like they're with their litter mates because they're cuddling up against it. They're hearing that heartbeat and it's, Hopefully, hopefully it does what it says it's supposed to do and she just gets comforted by that when she's in her crate in a new environment and she's probably a little nervous. She can feel like she's cuddling with her litter mates or her mom. So I'm really excited about this. Probably my favorite purchase of all of my puppy stuff. I also grabbed a big bag of her food. So that is it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this was a lot and I'm sure I might have forgotten a few things. If you guys have any questions about anything that I got, let me know and stay tuned for more dog videos. I can't believe it. Having a hard time wrapping my head around the fact that this is happening in less than 24 hours. Wow. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.